Hello everybody. Hello YouTuber. Hello Facebook friends. Hello Nina. This is a, a video documentary of a, um, a Chinese name seal engraving process um, for for Nina Takinski. Um, she has uh, written me a letter sent in snail mail because the story she wants to share with me is both in Chinese and English. Uh, so long story short, um, <coughs> she has a friend um, who is Chinese origin and uh, uh, sports, um, men's and women's team. Uh, the, the gentleman has uh, uh, made this name according to her personal traits and uh, uh, the sound of her, her name. So uh, we have these uh, three characters, Tian, a fairy, bestowing, um, Shi, and uh, um, Jade, Qi, fine Jade. So um, I adjusted the order um, according to the the meaning because uh, in Chinese name um, there are only one hundred characters could be used as family name. Unlike the Western names, you can have more family names, um, but the less uh, choice in personal names or given names. We only have 100 words or characters used in the uh, family name. So Shi is a Chinese family name. So I adjusted all the Shi, a bestowing, fairy, Xian, uh, second character, or the first uh, character of given name, and Qi, last character, angel, or um, fine, fine jade, and angel. So fairy. Angel is the given name, and Shi, Bistori, Fairy, and Angel. It sounds more Chinese, authentic Chinese. Uh, in the Chinese uh, name, we only have three characters mostly. Uh, so the seal is uh, um, can only fit like uh, four characters, with uh, uh, sometimes with the last character, a comma character for uh, seal, the seal of. Shi um, Xian Qi, or you can just use the Shi Xian Qi without the last character. Um, <coughs> so I I designed this uh, uh, this seal based on the the meaning of the name and uh, the Chinese uh, uh, the Chinese. A seal script, which was uh, uh, originated in the Qing and Han Dynasty, um, in the official and the private seals, so it has been unchanged for two thousand years almost. Um, but we <coughs> we um, have much room to play with that, so it's not uh, very standardized. Like uh, the first uh, example here is more influenced by the own early, early style called the Great Seal Script. It's more pictographic. This word fairy uh, is a person in a mountain, right? I, later I will show, maybe I should do it now, um, show Nina how to write the ch her Chinese name. If you are watching this upside down, you can go to YouTube. I have another camera behind me, so uh, maybe open two windows. You can see it in both angles. So 
if you need our watching, I wish. Okay, I uh, I use the uh, the um, convenient ink cake with uh, my traveling brush, the piston uh, pocket version piston brush. You can see the brush has a water reservoir, so I don't mess up with water in front of a computer. Okay. Um, so let, let me write the name first in script, in standard print script these days. These are all square lines. Okay. <coughs> um, let me see, I should write this. Last name comes uh, uh, first. It's on the, on the um, right side. When you write vertically, it, it from top down, and it doesn't matter. So some people like write this. Some start with the slant, and then this um, is optional. Uh, standard script. Should <coughs> I think I should put the angle this way so you can see my hand. I can write the uh, running, uh, walking style next next to it, so a little faster. And cursive style is is uh, probably like that. <coughs> okay. And uh, the second character is. Uh, Xian, that's what uh, I was trying to explain. So I don't know how this character is formed, but it's basically a place. Look like a, uh, this radical could be a, a, a place name. That is family name, you know, derived from a tri tribe or some uh, tribe. Anyway, <coughs> the second character is uh, interesting. Uh, it's a, um, like you can see in this seal script, People standing um, on the side of a mountain. So it's a Xian fairy. Immortal is also the uh, same character. Xian fairy. People and the mountain. Cursive. And uh, a semi cursive and cursive. So you can just omit to. Uh, Two character become one, and uh, the last character of given name um, is uh, Qi. Qi means fairy, uh, fine jade or angel. This is jade radical. Semi cursive. You can still see the um, the strokes as we print, right? But this one may be different, or you can write uh, just less strokes, maybe just like that. So the set. Uh, the cursive style it, it has its own rules, not just write faster, but it changes the, the stroke um, a little bit. Let me show you on Facebook. Okay. So here I got uh, the design, uh, which is very different than the, the uh, written uh, style. Right? Um, this uh, the seal script um, is squareized for uh, the design uh, on seals, stone, stone seals. Originally on bronze seal, 
uh, after noon that is the uh, silk stone is used. It's still kept in the same um, bronze kind of uh, cast style. But um, <coughs> you can notice that I, I do my seal on computer first, like uh, I carve on computer. Um, I try to make it look old uh, from beginning. So um, the, the result may be different. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm an archaeologist and uh, a antiquarianist uh, artist, you, you can say. So I try to keep the feel of the old ink, uh, old seal, not the like a computer generated mechanic font. Okay. So the art, uh, the client has chose chosen the second one. Uh, let me know which one you like if you're the the, the artist. Um, <coughs> I personally like the first one and the 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 Yan style and this one also on the the um, bottom it's a uh, ink style. But this one is uh, uh, I think is the right choice for the person because uh, let me read the story. <coughs> You know, this is very helpful. If I don't and uh, know the person um, from the story she shared, maybe I I'll uh, pick the wrong one. So, um, because uh, this person who made the name for her knows her strengths and uh, um, essence. You know, uh, the name ex um, is hard like a jade. That's uh, that's the the character of uh, her personality and creative, um, very creative spirit. So that's the, the uh, fairy, uh, Xian means. Um, he, she also um, was uh, light on her foot, on her feet, I suppose, very creative on the field in an offen offensive way. So standing on one, feet, on one foot is the image of this design. I think that's probably, it, it has more um, like a standing on one foot, kind of uh, light on, on feet. That's the feel of the second design, I think. That's why, that's probably why she liked it. I, I didn't uh, really design uh, on purpose, but uh, I think uh, this one fit her personality. Um, <coughs> so it relates to the fairy reference and uh, the sound also, you know, very close to her last name, um, Takins. So, Se Sen Ki Tai Se Sen Tai in Cantonese or Shi Xian Qi in Mandarin is the sound. And uh, what another friend described her personality as a half poet and half soccer kicker. So <coughs> that's uh, very, I like the, the emptiness. It's like very poetic to me. So this is to uh, design. It's out of space. Um, OK. <coughs> so it's a really a personalized, personalized service. So it's not like a computer font you can find anywhere online. I, I removed the sand, the the wax on the stone. This is a soap stone. Um, <coughs> it comes with a little wax polishing. I need to remove remove it. Okay, then I transferred the design. You might wonder how how do I do this? I have a Another sheet that is made with a lot of uh, stamps <coughs> because I may fail in the first attempt, so I made several uh, just in case. So this is the which side is uh, in the front. I usually uh, go with the animal. The face of the animal is a dragon. I cannot really find that. Okay, here. 
So the, fa the face of the animal, if it is uh, not facing the user, that's a norm. And then uh, you'll make a, I'll make an imprint on the stone with a special liquid nail polish remover. <coughs> it's acetone. You can also get from uh, hardware stores. It's paint remover or um, just be, be a little careful not to get on the table. It might destroy your furniture. Uh, it's okay, I think. I can see it as long as I can see it because this style is very, um, how to say, very spontaneous. So I can just, um, I can use a, a tool to fix it. This is a very professional way, but most people, you know, they can just do it, holding it in hand. So that's not a, a must, but it's better to have just a sealed bed. I have a simple one. If you want, you can get this. It does the same thing. Um, or you can, I can use a very professional one. It's called a uh, sealed bed or clamp. focus uh, on YouTube you can s watch directly over my shoulder the design takes most of the time you know the process of making a name is uh, very uh, time consuming also so um, I usually don't don't help you to give you any advice on your, on your uh, translation or create uh, on the creative uh, translation of your name until you pay for it for, for my uh, seal engraving service. Um, because I have many um, potential clients, they ask me how to translate the name, then disappear. So I learned lots of lessons from that. That's a very brainstorming um, thing. So it takes hours to, to develop this uh, designs. Then I can cover it um, within half an hour, I hope. So bear with me. Okay, I'll start. You don't have to follow the uh, writing sequence when you carve. But I better do that. It's like you're writing with the knife. Let me give you more focus of you on YouTube. You can go to YouTube to watch it. It's like uh, writing. You, you press and lift to create the the chi or the vital vitality uh, of the stroke. It's not just a dead line. It's a it's like you know. I I imagine the person the person uh, standing on one foot when I. Do this. So 
So some part is very dense, so dense that um, it cannot allow a needle to fit. That's the the metaphor. And some part is very sparse or open that a horse can run. It's just like you know, same principle as you compose a painting. That's probably why this design was more appear, has more poetic uh, space for imagination. Okay, I have a reference that I put to uh, you know, reverse because it's a mirror. I have to refer to that because it's a mirror image. When you make a uh, imprint on the from the paper transferred onto the stone, it is mirrored, and then when you stamp it, it will come back right. Right. So this is the more contemporary way I do it. You, you, you have to, you know, in the past you use a brush and a ink to design it in a mirror image on the stone. It's very if you copy the drawing, you have to rewrite it. It's a kind of a pain. But now I, if I did something wrong, I can erase it and then do another, do another uh, transfer. I never blow the degree, I just use my finger to, f to rub it off. Okay, <coughs> and the second character, my favorite one is the Xian uh, Fairy, people standing by the mountain. This reticle is a, the, the person, like a bald person. And uh, this reticle is the mountain. It become uh, this vertic three vertical strokes. It used to be three peaks. In the first design, you can still see that uh, that mountain, you know, like a, look like mountain, right? But the, uh, later it become more standardized.
the corner, I need to be very careful not to go through that. So you, you need to stop before you hit the corners. The last character is uh, Jade, the uh, fine Jade or uh, Angel. It's very um, important to feel the knife tip, not really, you know, use your eyesight to carve. Your body actually can do the work better if you, you know, do it from the feeling. Or the chi. No, <coughs> it's uh, very um, important to fine tune it. So basically, I <coughs> carve all the basic strokes, and then um, adjust the the width. To make it more natural, less uh, cutting traces were more like a cast bronze seal, like rounded, corners are rounded, some erosion kind of thing.
It's like uh, writing calligraphy. We try to tuck in the tip of the brush. Here we try to hide the sharp knife points. So not not uh, any sharp point should be showing. Some, um, sometimes the stroke will just connect, that's okay, it's very natural to just let it happen and that comes. We will create more dance. Close and openness is the the purpose of composition, creating the contrast. Okay, I'm going to do the edge now. <coughs> Let me just chop it first. Traditionally, we just use a large knife to rock out, knock off the edge. This is uh, also the way to prevent it from an uh, easy copy. But you know, this is you can use digital copy so to use a uh, chemical and a mechanic way, you know, procedure to reproduce a seal is much easier. But in the past, it, it's very hard to reproduce this kind of chips. There's a chipping on me. The corners, <coughs> excuse me, corners to look like uh, old monitors, uh, TV monitor. If you have a perfect square. Um, Feel just you know, destroy that, like do something to break it. Make it more natural. Okay, I'll make a first imprint so to show how it looks like. Um, and then do further twin. Okay. Mm. I just you can you can just blow it away. Okay, now I use the ink paste. <coughs> the ink paste is pretty dry, you know. Um, so you need to dab like a dozens of times, not just one time. 
not that way. Okay. If you press too hard, the the fiber will get too much stuck in the stroke. So you want to uh, do it gently. And then I, I'm, I'm not touching it. Just use the uh, moisture, warm it up. If it's in the winter, it helps to create a smooth seal. And you need a, a rubber pad and then use it. I put a mirror as a hard support. You can put directly on the table, you don't need a mirror. Uh, I will sign on the left later, but uh, now I just have to make sure it's, on the, it's at the right orientation. Then you press gently, uh, place gently on the table, then press very firmly down. And then you can wave a little bit, but not too much, because if you wave, you'll get a bigger seal. Very close to the design. Okay, there's some uh, extra uh, on the left. I'm going to take out. That's probably it. I'm very lucky, I think. <laughs> um, I don't have to do too much uh, retouching. I like that. I think the chip looks good. Maybe just a little bit extra. Just make sure you're doing the right side because the right is left, left is right on the stone. The stand is different. That's about it, I think. Let me do a second one. Um, I think I, I like it. I got the chi <laughs> because when I do it alone, I tend to overwork. Oh, Nina is watching. You do, YouTube stopped. Oh, okay, maybe. Um, that's that's it. I I cannot. Uh, Figure out what's wrong, but uh, maybe it's still recording. Uh, I can upload later. Nina, I'm going to uh, ask you for approval <laughs> since you're online. So I'm going to make another imprint. Just blow some moisture from your mouth. Place gently, press down, and wave just a little bit to make it even, but don't move. Okay. And lift gently with your fingers holding the paper, otherwise it will stick. You, you can see it's, it, it do that, yeah. Hold the paper with your index finger and in, uh, your left hand, okay? So this is pretty cool. Let me, I think uh, it's probably a little bit too jaggy on, the, on this side, just a little bit smoother because the the knocking is a little over, but we can make it look not an old chip, but I mean not new, like older. You can use uh, the 
uh, very soft sand paper also you can do that. So I just scratch a little bit. Stir it again. So the paste must be very good because uh, if you use office grade, you may not have the the uh, solid the granite gr uh, granless uh, print you may get uh, grant and the reduced grain just blow some moisture from your mouth don't touch it don't touch the ink it's not so toxic because these are all chemical uh, not really Cinnabar. Cinnabar is very expensive, by the way. So they call it cinnabar ink, but it's not really cinnabar these days. So this one, I'm going to do it four, so make it. Oops. Uh, so it's maybe too soft and then, oh I think I put on the corner so each print could be different I think I will make uh, a little adjustment for the shim to this stroke to be a little thicker. I think. Make a last uh, <coughs> last imprint. I hope. So it's not uh, solid enough. My loading is too fast. You can see. So you need to, uh, because my ink is kind of uh, old. You can um, stir it. I have a stirrer. I can do that later. It may help. Or you can get a refill if you got hard, um, hard ink. You can always replace it. Um, some people ask me if there's uh, ink, uh, oil you can add. There are, but I prefer to just replace the whole thing. But it usually lasts for decades. It's, uh, it's not going to dry too soon. This one I can use uh, maybe 20 years, or something like that. So I'm going to do an official, official uh, imprint on my collection book. And this will go. Uh, this page will be sent to Lina. And, uh, I'm going to do a copy on this one. <coughs> By the way, somebody may have seen this earlier. Uh, this is my my new mood seal with Cappy. Okay. And uh, here it is the way it is.
winter time, the the ink turns harder. You may not have to do this in the summer to blow it like hot moisture to you know hot uh, air from Mars to melt it a little bit. And uh, just uh, leave it uh, on the ta on the on the um, dry paper a little longer. Let it absorb through. It will also help to produce a solid imprint without a grain. And lift very carefully because you may take the ink back to the stone if you lift too fast. So I lift. Because it just stuck here. Okay, now I got the perfect copy for my collection. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I will make some more copies for uh, Nina on this uh, card paper. I find it is very. Very good. Just uh, on on this uh, little card, and another um, another trick is that I I lick the the paper. <laughs> you can use a little you know moisture with your finger, maybe. You, you can also reduce the grain. I just lick it. Um, but this one I won't send to the, to Nina, okay? <laughs> um, just to show you, if it's on on um, like a rough cold press watercolor paper, you can soak, you can wet the paper a little bit. It will help to reduce the grain. You can use water instead of the. Looking at, you can see this is very good. There's a little moisture on the paper. And this is the early um, testing. Okay, that's about it. And I, oh, I'm going to sign it on the site. This is a uh, standard. Uh, practice that I put the signature, my cover signature on the left, so you can always tell which side is up. Okay, I'm going to do the year also, um, just the year of the dog. Morning sunshine, that's the meaning of my Chinese name. So this signature is on the left side. When you stamp, you make sure this is a, on the on the left. Um, <coughs> uh, 
Oh, thank you for. Yeah, this is the the uh, collection. I can show you the other works I did earlier. Shifan, uh, Shifan, and this is for Brady, another Facebook friend. Um, this is for his teacher, <coughs> for martial art master, and uh, some. Uh, other personal and name sales and wood sales, etc. Okay. Any questions? Nina, thank you for your comment, and uh, hope you will you will like this sale and uh, see it uh, on your painting soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Nina. I'm going to stop broadcasting now.